Hi, I'm General Danny Karen here with your quick blast of legal wellness. You know, I wonder whether General George Washington, commander of the Continental Army, thought we would be shooting off fireworks to celebrate America's formal declaration of independence from colonial rule, which, by the way, occurred when the Second Continental Congress adopted the final version of the Declaration of Independence back on July 4, 1776. I'm guessing he didn't, but we do, which is why I hear the same question every single year. Is shooting off fireworks legal? Well, let's talk about it. 49 states plus Washington, D.C., they allow consumer fireworks in some form. But to find out the rules that affect you, you need to check your state law and local ordinances because the law varies from state to state and even sometimes from county to county. So for example, let's take, um, let's take Indiana. Indiana has relatively lenient fireworks laws. There, you pretty much need to be only 18 or be with an 18 year old and you need to be on your own property or on someone else's property with their permission. Now let's go to the other end of the spectrum, California. California has really strict fireworks laws in part because of, of course, the risk of wildfires. Then there are states like Hawaii, Nevada, Wyoming. They allow each county to establish its own regulations. And finally, there's Massachusetts, which completely bans all consumer fireworks. So what happens if you end up breaking the fireworks laws? Well, you can actually get arrested, especially if you're shooting them off in an area that has banned them due to wildfire risk. That is a really big deal. And depending on where you are, you could be fined up to $1,000 or even face up to a year in jail. Now those are just the criminal penalties. If your fireworks end up causing property damage, start a fire, or injure or God forbid kill someone, you could be looking at a lot more, well, fireworks. Now listen, it's not in my constitution to be a star-spangled buzzkill, but also I'm not saying anything revolutionary here. I'm simply saying that the Francis Scott Key, and by the way, Key wrote the poem that inspired the Star Spangled Banner following the War of 1812, not the Revolutionary War. I'm just saying the key to having a good time this 4th of July is to know a little something about the law and of course, to be safe. If you'd like to learn more about legal wellness, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit me at yourlovablelawyer.com. Till next time, I'm Danny Karen, your lovable lawyer.